me, Kat, and welcome to the vlog. Excuse me while I try to dry some fake eyelashes to glue onto my eyeballs. As you can see, we're in a hotel, and that's because we have landed in the land of Duncan and Broadway. Let the New York vlogs begin! Right now, it is 7.34. Here's the thing, uh, we've been traveling all day. I left the house at like two and we flew for five hours and then we lost time and then I tried to take a nap and then I had a problem with my eyes so I had to take some Benadryl. Bottom line, I'm a mess, I took a nap. I overslept a little bit and now I'm trying to glue some fake eyelashes onto my eyeball because we're going to go see the prom on Broadway. Today's vlog isn't sponsored but Gold Star, a company that I absolutely adore, was nice enough to gift me these tickets so thank you Gold Star. So if you guys have been around my channel for a little bit, you've definitely heard me rave about how much I love Gold Star. Gold Star is a great way to get discounted tickets and not just to theater, but to theater. I use it all the time when I'm home in LA. I've gotten tickets to the Hollywood Bowl, to the Pantages, to the Amundsen, and they also have discounted New York and Broadway tickets, including Tony Award nominated shows like The Prom. If you're a theater lover on a theater kid's budget, Gold Star is a great way to save some money and see some great theater. I'll link Gold Star down below because if you haven't tried them, you need to. Again, thank you Gold Star. Oh my gosh. I don't even have to say any of this, I just want to because I love Gold Star so much. Wow, I feel very off from the Benadryl. <laughs> I just feel like shaky and uh, woozy and not my best, but that's okay because the second that I realize that I'm going to be sitting in a Broadway theater, none of it matters. I'm just so excited. Something else really funny that I realized is that I'm going to see Caitlin Kuhneman in the prom who I saw as Natalie as an understudy in the national tour of Next to Normal, and then I saw her in Carolyn in Bridges of Madison County, and now I'm going to see her in her Tony Award nominated leading lady role for the prom. I don't know why I got so emotional over that. It just made me really happy for her, and really cool that I've been able to kind of witness this progression of her as an artist. I'm super pumped, and I'm not running late, but if I keep hanging out, I will be, so let's go. Figuring out where we want to have dinner after the prom and high key I'm thinking Taco Bell Cantina because everyone at Mean Girls always goes to the Taco Bell Cantina and always talks about oop. That's embarrassing. It's fine. My mom's here and she's making sure I don't run into traffic. Straight ahead we've got the Walter Kerr where we're going to be seeing Hades Town on Sunday and directly across the street we've got the prom which is where we're going right now. These seats are phenomenal. Thank you so much Gold Star. We're like 10th row orchestra. I am going to put you guys away real quick because the show is about to start so I will see you at the intermission. <laughs> quick little intermission update because they just did the little chime that the show's about to begin again. This show plays so much better than the CD. Uh, if you guys saw, I reacted to and listened to the album and I thought it was cute, I thought it was fun, but the show is hysterical. It's one of those shows that you need to see the visual gags. It's so fresh. Like, we don't see a lot of brand new shows uh, on Broadway. A lot of them are adaptions of things we already love. It's so fun, though, to see something original. I'm a vlogger. You know, this show's really clever. Yeah. Very clever, very funny. Yeah, it's, it's very much a theater people kind of show, which I am always skeptical about, honestly, but it's playing it in a funnier way and a less inside jokey kind of way. We're at the stage door. So we finished stage dooring over at the prom. It's a Wednesday night, not a lot of people came out, and also they're not obligated to do so, so that's totally fine. That was so joyful. It was not at all what I was anticipating. Saw my reaction and my review on the album. I liked it, I thought it was cute. The show is so much more. It is so funny. My biggest issue when I listened to the album is that I was like, I like just the plot of two girls who wanna to go to prom together. Do we need a whole bunch of Broadway performers? The answer is yes. It is so funny and so goofy. What show has a similar vibe to the prom? Mean Girls. Yeah, well, I mean, that makes sense. It's, it's Casey Nicola. It's the same yeah. director, which, by the way, that hip hop, the entire show is hip hop. Oh my god, everyone is so athletic. I believe it is time for some Taco Bell, if it's still open, oh, which absolutely. it should be. I hope yeah. so. Or whatever is open. I I'm starving. Let's find food. We have made it to the famous Taco Bell Cantina. 
Ooh, wow, this is gorgeous, okay. It's like a hipster Taco Bell. We just got back into the hotel room. We went to the Taco Bell Cantina that I always see the Mean Girls cast talking about because it's literally right next door to the August Wilson where Mean Girls plays. Let's talk about the prom. Oh, I didn't even do an outfit of the day for you guys. I am the worst, sorry. Jacket is from Forever 21. So is the dress. Wow, Forever 21 pulling through. Fishnets are from Target by the brand A New Day. Earrings are Betsy Johnson. I was very pleasantly surprised. Uh, I didn't think it was gonna be my kind of show just because inherently, I'm not a huge fan of shows where people are like, we're show people. The only show that I don't feel ick about when they do that is Kiss Me Kate. I think this was correctly done in the fact that it didn't feel like they were excluding the audience or that they were just pandering to the community. It was done in the way that the producers, honestly, is just like funny. There are some theatery jokes, but not too many to the point where if you're not a theater encyclopedia, you don't get it. Gonna grab some more Sierra Mist and pink lemonade. <laughs> Beth level, of course, was a tour de force. Like, I was anticipating that. And my mom's over here with a taco, so I keep looking over at her. Olé. If you can tell, uh, we're a little slap happy. But obviously, Beth level, we knew was going to be a superstar, brilliant. She, of course, played the chaperone when we saw Drowsy Chaperone, which was really fun. Uh, we got tickets, like, the day after they, or no, it was during the Tony Awards. We got the tickets for the Drowsy Chaperone during the Tony Awards like we were watching the telecast and they won and we called and got our seats very very obvious why she's nominated for the Tony what's interesting though is that she's also nominated against her castmate Caitlin Kuhneman so both of them are up for lead actress I oh. thought I thought one of them was up for best supporting they're both up for lead oh no I know so I I, I don't know if the voting for the Tonys works the way that the Oscars do that it splits the vote mm -hmm. um so, I don't know. Regardless, I'm kind of calling it right now. I think Stephanie J. Block's gonna win it. Everyone that's nominated, I am so in love with. Like, it is a tough year. I always made the joke that Kelly O'Hara was the Leonardo DiCaprio of the theater world, that she had been nominated so many times and didn't win until King and I. I feel like that's gonna be what's gonna happen with Stephanie J. Block. I feel like when I see a lot of shows and, you know, the main character is like, I'm different, I'm not special, I don't fit in, I'm awkward. They still have like an air of star power and confidence about them. Caitlin Kuhneman didn't do that. She truly created a brand new person. Chris Seaver should be nominated. I mean, granted, this is the first show of the trip. Yeah. So I'm. Those are big words. But uh, wow, I I've been a long-standing Christopher Seaver fan, and this is my first time seeing him live hysterical my gosh overall the prom was just so enjoyable so much joy so much energy so much fun great for the whole family excellent for theater lovers even if you're not someone who's super well versed in broadway i think you'd have fun also incredible to see an original musical getting all this hype in kind of the land of adaptations i love adapted musicals but there's something really really neat about an original musical making this big of a splash check out the prom over at the long acre theater if you're gonna see it be sure to get your tickets on Gold Star. Remember, they don't just do New York, they do LA, they do a ton of different places. That being said, my Taco Bell awaits. I've got editing to do and I need to go to sleep because the second that I take that Benadryl, I am going to be out like a light. I hope you guys enjoyed the first of the New York vlogs. I am so excited to see so much good theater and hopefully run into you guys. If you liked this video, if you liked the prom or if you're excited for more New York vlogs, give this video a big thumbs up. I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you so, so much. Break a leg and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>